Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to share my thoughts on embellished Chanel handbags and whether I think they're worth it or not. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so we can all mindfully curate our own collections. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Chanel embellished bags. All of your support really means a lot to me. I have done a Chanel handbag guide video where I share some of my recommendations for different Chanel bags for different occasions or different reasons. I will link that up above um, for you to check out to see what else I recommended in there. Um, but today I'm going to focus primarily on embellished Chanel handbags. And what I mean by embellished bags, those are ones that have some sort of applique on top of them, um, are made of sequins or extra like satin flowers or pearls or crystals or something like that. Um, that's what I mean by an embellished Chanel bag. I do have one in my collection and that would be this beauty right here. This is a full sequined handbag so I'm gonna move it a little bit in hopes that you can catch the sparkle in the light and um, this is effectively a mini size but I call it like a vintage mini size because it is bigger it is taller than your classic Chanel mini um, and it does have four grommets on the top and that means the straps come out through the bag on both sides and you're able to shorten it by pulling on one side now, um, this is the gorgeous piece that I have in my collection and I absolutely love it. If you ask me if I feel like embellished handbags hold up well or worth it, I, I absolutely think so. But I don't think it's best for like your first Chanel handbag and I don't necessarily think it's great for those who might be at the early stages of building out your collection. So I'll get into a little bit more detail, but I think the biggest question that I get around embellished handbags is the craftsmanship and whether they hold up well over time. So this handbag is part of, I believe, 20K. So it was fall winter 2020 collection. I bought it either late 2020 or early 2021. I will link the original unboxing video as well so you can see all of the close-up shots and all that goodness. I have had no issues carrying my bag. Now I do see there's like a little bit of like fluff. <laughs> you know when you have those um like woolly sweaters and they have like the long fibers of yarn. Um, sometimes I do see that getting a little bit stuck in here but outside of that I really don't have any issue of this snagging on my clothes because that was the biggest concern that I had and I also don't have any concerns with anything falling off or falling out because you all know that I really don't recommend heavily embellished Chanel costume jewelry because I find that I either the rhinestones or the imitation pearls like fall out. <laughs> They're just glued on there so they fall out. But when it comes to embellishing handbags, I do feel the craftsmanship's really there. Everything is held on well and I don't have any concern of a single spangle like falling off, you know? Over the last year or so that I've had this piece, it has held up the same. I don't see any kind of structural issues. Um, the inside is lined with leather. It is basically a leather bag with this kind of embellished fabric on the outside. When it comes to construction and how well it holds up over time, no concerns. I feel like it is actually really, really great. Now the other piece that I want to touch upon is that I don't recommend this as like your first bag. I don't recommend this for someone who might just be starting out uh, building their core collection. While I love this piece, I feel like embellished handbags, embellished Chanel bags in particular, are really great once you sort of have your core and you're looking to expand beyond that. I don't see this as like, you know, a starter bag. I don't really see this as a daily bag either, of course there really are no rules and you do what you want but if uh, cost per wear and being able to maximize like how much you're able to use your handbag uh, across multiple use cases and different needs is really top of mind for you then I don't recommend an embellished handbag for that because it is very visually distinct 
Um, and so sometimes that might limit how many outfits you can wear it with. Sometimes that can limit the places you want to take it to. Um, and because it is embellished and it means there are like, you know, things on top of your handbag. I don't know how how well it would stand up to, you know, constant daily wear. There might be a higher chance that one of the pearls or one of the rhinestones, you know, one of the spangles like falls out if you do wear it that constantly. So that's why I feel like I gravitated towards adding an embellished handbag to my collection once I built out my core. Once I knew I had like my daily bags, my my core collection that satisfies most of my needs, that's where I started looking for additional things. Now, the other thing I want to talk about when it comes to embellished handbags is the price tag. When I was looking at this bag at that time, that fall collection had a lot of embellished bags come out. There were ones that had like full on rhinestones. There were ones that had like lots of appliques on top of them, like stars that had beads and little sparkles, like had a lot of go going on, honestly. <laughs> and on the pre-loved market, you'll also see lots of embellished handbags, like pearl bags um, that are available as well. The price for some of these can turn extortionate, like eye-wateringly expensive. And personally, I don't think those are worth it. I don't think it's worth 10 or $12,000 on like a jumbo sized, fully embellished bag. Now, if it, if it makes your heart sing and you fully have the budget for it, like by all means go for it. I wouldn't want to be the person who prevents you from doing that. But just realistically thinking as you're building out your collection and you want to add something new, I personally don't find that kind of budget, that kind of price point for such an embellished piece that might not be able to, might not get as much wear as, you know, a classic flap or, or something like that. Uh, I, for me, that was just too much. There will be styles that I consider like reasonable, reasonable to be uh, given that they are fully embellished. And so they do exist within certain collections. Well, with all the recent Chanel price increases, honestly, I don't know what the appropriate range is for these kinds of bags. Um, at the time that I was getting this one, I think this one was about 5,000 like 800 or something like that it is a lot for a mini size but it is a fully embellished piece and for me that felt like a pretty reasonable price point like every single inch of this bag is covered in sequins and they are like really tiny micro sequins too so like that feels like a really appropriate price but i was at the same time i was looking at other mini sized bags that were edging at like eight and then there were like medium size flaps that were embellished that was edging at 10 there was one that i saw that was definitely 12. that's where i'm saying eh, i don't always think they're worth it for their price tag it is one that i think you sort of have to seek out you have to see what's available and then kind of judge whether you feel like that's a reasonable price point for you to add something to your collection. If an embellished bag is out of your outside of your budget, then that's also okay. I don't think it's something that you really have to like die for. Like it's not a must have. I do think it's a nice to have. I don't remember if I did a what's in my bag for this particular style. So I think it might be fun to show you what does fit inside. Here is my wallet. This is my Chanel classic flap card holder and I'm able to put that in vertically and it fits perfect. And next I have my like catch all. This is like a Fendi key pouch that if you've watched any of my what's in my bag videos, you'll see that this is pretty consistently in all of them. Um, so I put that in, I slide that in because it's just a little too tall to put in vertically. So I slide that in flat. And then what I would typically do is lay my keys right on top. I, I don't have them handy with me. So just imagine that I put my keys in there. Um, that's pretty much everything that I would carry, honestly. And then like, I'm able to just close it up. Now, if I did have more things I wanted to carry, like I'm wearing a specific lipstick and I wanna make sure I can carry the lipstick with me and stuff like that, then I would actually put a smaller 
wallet in here. I'd probably use like one of my thinner card holders like this one, the flat one, because then it opens up a lot more space. Like now everything is honestly just like swimming in there. So like, let's say I had like a small pair of sunglasses I wanted to carry. I now have enough space for that because I can put my keys down in front of my card wallet. And, or if I had like a big chunky lipstick or I had a whole, you know, big hand sanitizer or something that I needed to carry, then um, the smaller card holder definitely fits more in here. The small card holder lets me fit more in here. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to share about Chanel embellished handbags. I do have tweed bags. I thought about considering tweed as like an embellished handbag, but I consider that to be more of a fabric handbag. So it's a little bit different in my mind. And I've also done a couple videos with my tweed flap already. I will link one of them up above in case you are curious to learn more about how tweed holds up over time. I wanted to keep this one really focused on embellished. So it has sparkles, it has rhinestones, it has pearls, or it has something, you know, on top of the bag. If you have any other specific questions about embellished handbags, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, bye.